working with layers in GIMP. Uh, to first start out, your uh, desktop might look a little different than mine. Uh, that's because mine is configured a little differently. Uh, uh, you know, you can move this here. So don't get too caught up on how the differences are, just that they, they can be. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull in three images. One, the uh, background. The other, a human, one of those kind, and an object, a log. To start out with, you need to go to your file. Click on File, and the first one you're going to do for the background is Open. Well, I have to find it because it's uh, I've got it stuck over here. So, okay, I'm looking for the uh, for the file that I'm going to use for the background. Full scale background, 10 times 4. That's 10 inches by 4 inches. That's what the representation is going to be. And there it is. Now you're saying, oh, that's all pretty. We've got a background. Uh, I don't see anything for layers. Well, for your layers, you come up to this Windows right up here. Click on Windows and go to Dockable Dialogs. Come to Layers and click on that, or you can do it from the control uh, from the uh, keypad, Control plus L. Okay, there's our Layers windows. As you can see, the background is here at the bottom. I can make it disappear, or I can make it reappear. There, there's our puppy. Now for our images, what we have to do is go back to file, but we have to do something a little different. This time, open as layers. I repeat, open as layers. So we're at uh, layers. Uh, I've got to go to Moore's Pond because that's where my tutorial is at for you. And uh, we're going to pull up Blair with the vodka bottle. Uh, he seems to be a nice little feller there. So there he is. Now, if you take a look, it created a layer uh, above it. You can see the little checkered in the background that uh, represent that that's a, that's a transparency. If I click off the eye, he disappears. Bing bang. So we we have him there, and uh, you know you're probably saying to yourself, "Well, he's kind of a big mother frigger." So I'm going to show you the right way and the wrong way of uh, scaling him down. You come down to the scale tool. I think it's somewhere. I've got to see where my scale tool is. At. There it is. Uh, I come to my scale tool, and uh, I click on that. And uh, if you just go to scale, you're going to see that you don't have much control. Whoa! Now there, no, there's a fat dude. Hey, boys, oh boys! I wish Weight Watchers would work that quick. But the the best way to have done this is to hold down the control key on your keyboard, which is located to the lower corner of the left side, and you you do that, and that'll keep his proportions so he doesn't look fat or whatnot. So when you scale, hold down the cr uh, the control key and uh, with your mouse, the uh, left key, yeah, left mouse key, and uh, you know you can move them around and whatnot. And uh, so that's all nice. Now you want to move. To move them, you come over to this move tool, and we can move them. Now the reason why he didn't scale down because I didn't tell him to scale, so I've got to redo that again. Uh, scale. Now I'm holding my control key and I'm pressing on my left key of my mouse. The control key is the one on the keyboard. And uh, I'm going to bring him down to roughly about what, what, he th what I think he should look like relative to the background. And now I click on scale. That's what I didn't do before. That's why he didn't scale down. Now we come back to the tool and I can move him around. Now. I'm going to pull another uh, image up, and once again to do that I come back to open as layers, and I'm going to pull the log up, and uh, it keeps wanting to, so i got to get back into transparencies, and I'm looking for a file named log, there he is right there, so we have log, and you take a look, there's our layer, log. Now we're going to scale that log down some. And same thing, we come back to our scale tool, hold the control key on the left hand side bottom of your keyboard, and with your mouse, with the left mouse button, hold down and 
and uh, bring down and then remember to click on that scale and uh, come back to move and we come back and uh, now we're sitting there geez uh, that's in front of them how do we do that well if you take a look over in your layers panel you'll see this little arrow click on the arrow and it puts the log behind them and if you take a look at right he's on top of it before it was log here and blare down here this time here is a blare up here log down here and let's suggest that a bit and, uh, there we go and so we have him sitting on a stump drinking his vodka he's all happy so that kinda concludes uh, working with uh, layers and we did it and we touched upon scaling at the same time okay very best hopefully that'll get you going there Donnie thanks